This is a watermelon that we dry farmed. This small farm in Black Creek is one of three test sites on the island and Salt Spring Island. With support from the BC Ministry of Agriculture, Kwantlen University is in year one of trials to see if dry farming can work. That means using no supplemental irrigation when growing crops. Dry farming is a bit of a misnomer because every plant needs water to grow, but what we're doing is we're trying to preserve soil moisture for as long as possible for crop growth. The soil is dusty dry now, but at the beginning of the season it was saturated. The idea is to preserve that moisture as long as possible using agroecological practices. Spacing the plants wider than you might normally so that each plant's roots has more uh, volume to draw from or we have a larger reservoir of water. Uh, things like mulching, really diligent weed management so the weeds aren't competing for uh, that really important water as well. Uh, wind barriers to prevent, you know, unwanted evaporation. So there's a whole suite of practices and we're trying to figure out what works best here. There's some giant winter squash in there I grew last year dry farms that were just like so successful. It was a problem. Jacqueline Kirby has actually been dry farming here for a few years, forced to because she couldn't get a license to use water. So it's a myth maybe that plants need to be watered all the time. Depends on the plant, depends on the region, depends on the time of year. So there is a lot that goes into it. Uh, I will say this year was harder than last year. Uh, plant spacing is a big thing we're looking at and that's something that really needs to be studied. She says she's lucky that a big rainstorm went through here last month, but the farm has still only received 60 millimeters of rain since June 1st, as monitored by the special weather station right in the patch. All in all, climate change is making it hotter and drier in the summer on Vancouver Island. The motivation for the study was uh, and continues to be climate change and our changing patterns of water availability, uh, increased water stress and a lot of challenges that come uh, from that. So what we wanted to do was to work collaboratively with farmers to build capacity for things like dry farming uh, as one of the tools we can use to build climate resilience.